Elliot Ash, two cents. Ever, 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 Elliot Ash, be two cents. Ever, 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 Elliot Ash, be two cents. Get it, talk about the news and this shit. Made in the Lord's image, you mimicking the design Hallelujah, black suit just because it suits ya You hear the angels singing, they sounding like Fat Luther This backpacker will turn on the lights and I'll stab future Been sick since they told Dilla he had lupus Last of a dime free Yo, what's going on? This is Elliot Ashby, always keeping it classy And that was Chicago MC Ad 2 If you don't know about him, don't worry, you're gonna learn today He recently signed with Ninth Wonders Jamla Records And he's on the new album Jamla is the Squad, which is dope it not only has the, the JAMA team, but it's also got like Elza, Fonte, Talib, Pete Rock, Lecrae. I could go on and on, really. It's a dope album. Before you guys check out the album, listen to the rest of my interview. Uh, I had to ask him about going in on folks because he's always cracking jokes and talking about people. And I'm curious if anyone has ever taken it personally. So let's listen to what he had to say. I said something about Lil B before, man. Yeah. And out the blue, he started following me. And it was like that awkward moment of that, like, is he following me because, you know what I'm saying, he just randomly follows people? Yeah. Or is he following me because he heard what I said? What did you say? I don't even know. It was, like, I said a lot. Like, I say so much. <laughs> yeah, whatever you happened do. in the moment, you know you what do. I'm saying? And so, um, but I do it out of, out, of, out of, you know what I'm saying, just how I was raised, man. Like, you know, when we would rap in ciphers and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like, sometimes we go off the top and if you had something on, you had to rhyme about whatever that person had on, like, we're not going to act like that's not there. Yeah. And so, and with rap being that type of thing where you got to stay topical, it's like, yo, if I did something, then it's, it's going to be put as a punchline. I'm sorry. If like, you make yourself a punchline, I'm going to use it as a punchline. If somebody, like, the same thing's going to happen to me. Eventually, somebody's going to be like, man, you know what I'm saying? You sure I'm going to add two inches to you like that short nigga had two? They're going to say something about me. Even some of your inspirations are now listening to you, yeah. giving you praise. Hmm. How does that feel? It's a great feeling. You know, like it's something that I don't take for granted because, you know, those people will always be heroes in my eyes. They'll always be at a level where I feel like I can't achieve. And I'm who not, are these people? Uh, definitely Common. Yeah. You know, Knife Wonder, you know, yeah. Nas. Um, uh, the homies from Hieroglyphics, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they, they definitely reached out to me as well, man. Like, there's so many of them who, it's just like, when it happens, you be like, wow. Like, I think Elza was just saying, like, yo, man, I messed with Ed too, too. And I was like, wow. That's, <laughs> that's crazy to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But one of my friends was saying, he was in Miami, mm-hmm. and it was playing Between Heaven and Hell. And the person who was listening to it was, like, Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> like, how does this even happen? How does happen? that even happen, How right? does it even happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, but stuff like that just makes me realize that, you know, you're on the right path. Yeah. And it's something that, you know, you, you wished for, you hoped for, and then once you get it, you like, yo, just appreciate it. What's poppin'? It's Kendrick Lamar. Chillin' with my boy, Ad 2. You know I mean? Real hip-hop, real music, real people doing it, you know? Macklemore, Ryan Lewis won the Grammy. Yeah. Over Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Did you have feelings about that? No feelings because like this is what's been going on for years. Years. You know what I'm saying? If Eminem, regardless of how the, his album was, if he was nominated for best album of the year, chances are he was gonna win best album of the year. He's gonna win the Grammy every year. Are because, you saying because he's white? Of course I'm saying. Oh my god! Like like who like I'm telling you, like it's just it's, it's obvious. Like the Grammys, man, you know that, man. Like yeah. but at the end of the day, we all have to look back and say, like, yo, man, that doesn't give him the validation, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like really and and they did something that was dope. Like we still gotta give Macklemore credit, man. Sure, like sure. they did something great for independent. Like he was bringing quality as an indie artist, as an indie that's artist what you were. bringing quality, bringing crit on tour. Like who else was doing that when they was making millions? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like I still give him his props. He deserves it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And Kendrick, he deserves a Grammy as well. But I'm telling you, this is not the ending for him. Like next album probably sweep the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is just fuel for the fire, and I think he needed that. He needed that moment of, because he's been getting everything. Okay. Sometimes you need that moment, like, you got something else to work for. Who is underrated to you? Who is overrated to you? Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm. Like, I, I don't think that they've got their just do. Mm. And to me, I think they're some of the best artists I've ever, you know what I'm saying, like, grew up in, especially in the 90s. Mm. Like, they don't get the credit they deserve, so... Yeah, I say Bone Thugs and Harmony. I also say Do or Die. I love Do or Die. Great. Overrated. Like low key, man. People would say some people would say, you know, what I'm saying Two Chains is overrated, but I actually like Two Chains, man. What do you like about Two Chains? 
I like that he could make a verse and it would stick in your head. Like, like, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my favorite verse in that Drake joint. But we're gonna hear the add to two chains show. Um, sometime in like, you know what I'm saying, February, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> 30 seconds. What you gonna do when we ride What are some trends that you would like to see die in hip hop? Whack ass lyricists. All right. I don't like that. Um, two people who were just doing stuff just to, you know what I'm saying, like for the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't like when rappers switch up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when they try to be something that they're not just to get ahead. It's like, I get you. I understand why you're doing it, but that's not authentic. And then you run around claiming it's real and it's not you. Then you drop another album. Like, well, this album is really me. No, shut up. I don't like that. Yo, I'm Add Two to One Man Duo. And of course, this is my two cent. All right. Selling out our culture for some monetary gain And you can switch the channel but the image doesn't change Where every man's a pimp, let's call it flavor of love And every girl's a hoe and joins the bad girls club There's a box we ain't outside yet In four seasons I ain't seen a real housewife yet